Welcome to our lecture online. To get a better understanding of, of the concept of refraction across a surface, especially when it's a curved surface, let's put three objects in the location on the right side, 15, 20, and 25 centimeters away from the boundary. Notice that the index of refraction on the right side is 1.5, the index of refraction on the left side is equal to 1. The question is, where will the images be and how will they shift depending upon where we'll put the object. So we're going to use this equation right here to figure that out. We're looking for S prime. So S prime is equal to question mark for the three objects. Starting with the first object at 15 centimeters, let's go ahead and plug in what we have. N1 would be 1.5 divided by 15 plus that would be 1 divided by S prime, that's what we're looking for. That's equal to N2, which is 1 minus N1, divided by the radius of curvature, which will be 20 centimeters. Now the question is, is that positive or negative? Well, that depends. Is the surface convex or concave relative to the object? You can see that it curves away from the object, therefore the surface is concave, therefore the radius of curvature will be negative. It's only positive if the surface is convex towards the object. So now let's go ahead and figure out S prime. Simplifying this, moving this to the other side, we get 1 over S prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5, that's a minus 0 0.5 divided by minus 20. And then here, move that across, that becomes minus 1.5 over 15. Now, let's see here, we can probably simplify that a little bit because we can write this as, cancel out the negatives, 0 0.5 divided by 20 and minus, let's see if we divide the top and the bottom by uh, 1.5, we end up with minus 1 over 10. So 1.5 over 15 is the same as 1 over 10. Now we can easily find the common denominator of 20. So 1 over S prime is equal to 0 0.5 over 20 minus 2 over 20. Minus 2 plus 0.5, that's equal to minus 1.5 over 20. And therefore S prime is equal to minus 20 over 1.5. And let's see what that result is. 20 divided by 1.5, that gives us 13.3, and it's negative, negative 13.3 centimeters, which means the object is on the same, or the image is on the same side as the object, and a little bit closer, so let's go ahead and put, put that in. So here we have image number one. So this is image one, which has a distance of 13.3 centimeters away from the boundary. So what happens when we put the object a little bit farther away at the center of curvature? Well, for that we'll use the equation again. So we have 1.5 divided by 20. So instead of 15 centimeters, we now put the object 20 centimeters away. Plus 1 over S prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5 divided by negative 20. So 1 over S prime is equal to Notice we'll get the same amount again on the right side, which will be 0 0.5 divided by 20, because the negatives cancel out. And then here this becomes minus 1.5 divided by 20. So now you see they have the same common denominator. We can easily add those together. So minus 1.5 plus 0.5, 1 over S prime is equal to minus 1 over 20, which means that S prime is equal to a negative 20. Well, that's kind of interesting. Here, we have the object 20 centimeters away and the image at the exact same location 20 centimeters away. The negative, of course, means that it's on the same side as the object, which means, whoa, there goes my pen. There means we have an image at the very same location as the object. All right. Well, that kind of makes sense because it's at the center of curvature. All right, now let's see what we get when we move the object even further away at 25 centimeters. So now we have 1.5 divided by 25 plus 1 over S prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5 over negative 20. So that means that 1 over S prime is equal to, this again becomes a 0.5 over 20. 
And here this becomes minus 1.5 over 25. Here the common denominator would be 100. So this 1 over s prime is equal to 2.5 over 100 minus 4 times that would be 6 over 100. So we have 1 over s prime is equal to 2.5. That would be minus 3.5 over 100, which means s prime is equal to 100 over minus 3.5, which is equal to 100 divided by 3.5. And we get 28.57. It's a negative, negative 28.57. Again, that's centimeters, which means that here the image is farther away over here. So there would be the image, image 3, at a distance of 28.57 centimeters, rather than 25 centimeters for the object. So here you can begin to see a pattern. You can see that when the object is inside the center of uh, curvature, that the image is closer to the boundary than the object. At the center of curvature, the image is at the same location as the object, and if the object is placed farther away than the center of curvature, the image is even farther than that, away from the boundary. So at least we see some pretty good pattern here that we can then utilize in the basic understanding of refracting surfaces. So I think what we should do now is we should try to put the objects even further away to see what would happen. In the limit, as the object goes to infinity, what happens to the image should be interesting. So let's stay tuned and let's see what we have on our next video. That's how it's done.